Okay, so I'm getting rid of this Ultima ignition here. It was uh, dropping the cylinder <clears throat> after it got warmed up. And it started doing this. We bought this bike as a salvage bike. And it already had this ignition system in there with a single fire coil. And at first, it ran, it ran pretty decent. But then after riding it a little bit, it'd get warm and it started dropping the cylinder. Yeah, I've, I've replaced quite a few of these over the years for just that problem. Uh, so today, I did some research and didn't really want to buy some cheapo import thing that, you know, because doing looking around, there, there's some out there that are really stupid cheap that supposedly have warranty. You know, and I'm sure they have some kind of warranty, but after having dealt with companies like that before over the years, their warranty isn't really that great. You know, they'll come up with excuses. Well, you wired it up wrong, or you know, it's not it's not our ignition system. It's something in your wiring, or you know, a myriad of other excuses. Uh, Dyna is what I got. Dyna 2000. I just ordered it a couple minutes ago. So hopefully that thing will be here sometime this week. Uh, according to them, it will be. But we'll see. And the truth is, after looking up the price a replacement unit like this, or some of them other ones, you know, I spent you know maybe ten dollars more to get the Dyna 2000. I after shopping around, and I've I've installed. Well over 100 Dyna 2000s over the years, and never had a problem with them ever. <clears throat> and they just they work. The only drawback to running electronics in, in a nose cone here is the heat, and that's usually what happens to these things. The heat kills the microprocessor in there because you know with the cover on here. <clears throat> With the cover on here, you got quite a heat build up in here. <clears throat> Especially use a, use a gasket and the cover. And I usually try and leave the cover off just because I don't really care what it looks like. Or I might put some spacers behind the, behind the steel, spaced out a little bit, give it some air, actual airflow in there, a little bit anyway. And since this is a magnetic, magnetic system, really, it's like all stators, it's magnetic. Uh, don't really care about uh, water or whatever else getting in there because it isn't going to really affect the thing because the thing's totally sealed in epoxy. And uh, just no water. A long time ago, they had some uh, ignition systems that had like an optical sensor in there. Which was actually horrible. I, I did one that chased a problem around on a guy's bike who had an optical a MC power arc ignition, is what it was. And I, I guess it worked great for him. According to him, it did. Until he developed a uh, cam seal, started leaking a little bit. You know, well, optics and oil don't really mix. So he would get this intermittent. Uh, intermittent misfire and traced it down to the optical sensor getting coated with oil and it would just it would start dropping the cylinder or quit running and all that and replace the cam seal on it and work fine again but you know just cautionary tale I mean yeah I could have found a uh, Ultima ignition slightly cheaper but after having problems with them, why would I order another one when I can get one? I can get something that I know works good, made in the USA, better, better, old, better warranty, better service all the way around. Actually, completely better ignition system as far as running, and uh, work great. Well, that's that's about it for that. So, hopefully, this week sometime. <clears throat>